Oh, hey everybody, it's Jeff here. We're going to get everybody on and we'll give everybody a few minutes. I had a bunch of people actually request that I get on tonight, today, since it's November 1st. So, now that I just took my daughter back to her mother's, we will get started here in just a second. Once everybody gets on. I know a lot of people are watching the Cubs game tonight. And once I'm done here, I'm going to probably watch a little bit of the Cubs game. And then I have uh, a couple pages of my book to read. So we're going to let everybody get on here real quick. As they're getting on. And we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. I'm actually three minutes early. I was going to start at 8 o'clock tonight. So give me just a minute. And we're waiting for everybody to get on. Um, in the meantime, let me know who you are. And how you're doing today and everything. And we'll get started here in just a minute. we got another minute to go. Okay. And remember, today is November 1st, 2016, for anybody that needed, didn't know that. <laughs> it's, no, it's already November 1st, and it was like, what, above 80 degrees outside today? It was beautiful outside today. Oops. And so, um, yeah, we'll get started here a couple more seconds, and then we are, we'll get started. Alrighty, countdown began. Okay, a few more people are getting on couple people just sent me a couple texts that they're getting on right now all right okay everybody we're gonna go ahead and get started hey everybody my name is uh, Jeffrey Jansen today is November 1st 2016 that is the first day of November and it was beautiful outside today how's everybody doing today I'm a little more motivated than usual tonight um, I just got done um, I just finished taking my daughter back to her mother's and everything else, and we had a good time. And, and whenever we're with their kids, they always remind us of different things we can do. Also tonight, we uh, when we were going, we went out shopping. Uh, we ran into a couple of my really good friends who uh, they're always in my prayers. Uh, but they are some very good friends of mine, been friends of mine for a very long time. And sometimes, like I said, you never know who needs those kind words. You never know who who is happy to see you. And my daughter was like, Daddy, you know everybody. Because I was leaving, everybody's like saying hi to me and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. But I live in a small town, and I, I just, I'm always grateful for the friends I have and the people I get to see. And I always go out of my way to make sure to talk to my friends and make sure I tell them hi. And if I see them, and I've got friends of every age. Um... And that's why I do these. And this is the reason why every day I remind people that it's better to be nice and kind to people and to do positive things for everybody so that people understand that there is good in the world. There's so many people out there. We don't know what they go through every day, but they probably have a boss at work that's treating them like crap. They probably got a bully somewhere that every time they go and do something, that person's always making them feel like crap. You know, they might have family members that are treating them really, really bad or down on their luck. You know, there may be... Um, today I'm grateful because, and one of the things, I'm always talking about veterans, but before I get into that, I ran into a couple of vets today, and one of them, he's uh, getting a job, he's up and going, um, he's becoming a truck driver, now he's not on here or anything else, and I'm not going to say his name and everything, but he was homeless, he was a homeless vet. And some people helped him get back on his feet and he found out that he was good at driving a truck and everything else and some people gave him a chance. Now, he does, he's not from Illinois. He comes from another state. But I actually sat there and listened to his story. And one of the worst things about being in the military was while he was in the military, he was getting paid so little, he was actually homeless while in the military. And I did a background check and everything on him and he told me to and he told me how. and. I went and looked him up, and now we are actually, uh, we are helping him. We're going to now help him with the VA to get his, he, he got out with a less than honorable discharge, but it wasn't because of anything wrong. Um, but we're going to help him get that moved up to honorable discharge, and we're going to get him the benefits that he needs. And he was, he was in pretty bad shape. And um, I took it upon myself to help him out, as, you know, and we're going to be working with him for a while now. But the reason why I say that, is every time I go in and I talk to people, I always ask who the veterans are and stuff like that. And, you know, we go back to what I talk about every day. 22 veterans every day are killing themselves and we don't know why. You know, but it only takes a few kind words to help prevent those things from happening. You know, vets are, they're very proud people. And they are very good people. And today, by being, I mean, 
that's just what I do in general is help people but this particular guy he needed a little extra and I don't go into my work too much on these but I will tell you that he is now able to get in the truck he is able to drive you know and how he does and then when I was out in the parking lot I ran into a Vietnam vet and I don't know what's gonna come out of that one but you know he's going on strong and great guy from northern Illinois and you know it's like you get to learn all these stories from different people you get to see how some of them especially the industry that I, I my industry is not bad but the industries that I go into I actually go and help people you know some of them they've been beat up pretty good and they've been down on their luck and you know I, I get their stories and I kind of want to want, want to know where they're going and why they're still going forward and it's because they've run into good people um, Quincy, Illinois has a program called Fishing for Freedom. I always tell people about Fishing for Freedom. And I always tell everybody about all these different military programs out of my hometown and then throughout the country that small towns do for veterans and for military. You know, all the way back to World War One, World War Two. We know we don't got any World War One vets, but World War Two vets are dying off. And World War uh, Vietnam, Korea, stuff like that. Um, the first desert storm, you know, Iraq, Afghanistan and we forget sometimes that you know when these guys get out they don't have anywhere to turn and a lot of us we don't know what to do so we raise money we have events for them and that's a great and but we just need to remember every day we don't know and it's even not even vets you know you just don't know who's down on their luck you don't know who may have got laid off from a job you don't know who got my passed over for a promotion you don't know somebody that could be suffering some kind of um, illness inside their body not that like like not like a terminal illness or anything but just somebody that's hurting so bad and they got headaches and they're faking a smile every day just to because they're hurting so bad because of maybe an accident or maybe you know you know with people with like Alzheimer's or people with um, oh what's the one where their hands um, all not Alzheimer's it's uh, not carpal tunnel it's um, arthritis you know the arthritis is really bad and stuff you don't know who's hurting and you don't know who may have lost a family member or loved one. And I know this week that I know several people that lost some loved ones. And we've been praying for them and everything. So the whole purpose is we need to celebrate those people and the people's lives. And we need to be kind to people. And I say this every day. Yes, I'm a broken record. Because when I have 22 of my brothers and sisters out there every day committing suicide. And it can be a simple thing as in, hey, how you doing? Hey, thank you very much. Hey, do you need help with that? You know, whatever happened to helping the lady cross the street with her groceries? Whatever help happened to all the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts out there and the Girl Scouts out there that went around helping people, you know? Whatever happened to the people that go over to the nursing homes and the veterans' homes and stuff just to do nice things, sing Christmas carols and stuff, you know? What I'm saying is do unto others and don't ask anything in return. Be nice to people just because you want to be nice to them. Don't expect anything out of anybody don't go out of your way thinking I'm gonna help this person I'm gonna get all kinds no you wanna know something if you're going into that you won't get anything you know just take out of it that you did something nice for somebody and, and move on you don't have to give money you don't have to give food you don't gotta do anything like that just be nice and forgive your enemies uh, a lot of times like I said <laughs> I talked to some people again today some people are sending me some stuff while I'm on here and ask me to pray and to say some different things for people and I will um, today you know I saw again you know I'm 37 years old and, you know I'm a single dad and uh, one of my friends who is older than me was complaining because him and somebody else should get into it for something that happened back in high school and I'm just like you know I gotta get that I, I actually walked on the reason why is because that kind of negativity you have to walk away from if they are that age and they're still accepting the fate of high school and that is their greatest moments in life and you try to tell them good things but they always want to go revert back to that sometimes you just got to walk on you got to say hey it was good seeing you and then you walk on because those people will bring you down they're they're actually trying to bring you down see they don't want to come up to your level they want to bring you down to the ears so i always tell everybody if you're around and, and trust me when I say my mentors taught me this. If the top five people you hang around with are all negative, you need a new top five friends. It doesn't matter what your excuse is. You just need new friends. If your friends are negative and all they do is want to be negative. I mean, it's kind of like if all your friends 
go out one night, and they're all drinking, and every one of them get in their cars, because they all want to take separate cars home, and they're trash on belief, and every one of them get in their cars, and you get in with them, and they get in a wreck, you're going to suffer the same fate they are. doesn't matter what happens, because you didn't get away from them. Okay? Now, if you choose to drive them home because you were the sober one, but if you're the one that was drunk with them, and they suffer a fate, you are responsible for their actions and yours, whether you want to believe it or not. So, you may have these great friends who've been your friends for like, yeah, they got your back. No, if they had your back, they would help be pushing you up. They would be helping you stay motivated on your dreams and goals and not constantly pulling you down, not constantly pulling you in the bars, not constantly asking you to do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. Okay, things that we tell our teenagers, things that we tell our kids every day, you know, to stay away from, oh, that boy's trouble or that girl's trouble or, you know, let's not do that. Let's be, you know, we're telling them, but our, here we are hanging out with those exact same people that pull us down. Look, I didn't say getting to a positive area was easy. I didn't say getting to a positive reality was going to be super easy. Hey, everybody can do it. No, the reason why is because we'll come up with every excuse in the world not to get away from those people. We will give ourselves every excuse how great they are. They may have robbed from us. They may have stolen from us. They may have never been there when we needed them. But we're all, it's like we, we need this. We need that constant companionship. It's like a, a woman or a man that's constantly being abused by the husband, the wife, or being abused by the boyfriend, the girlfriend. And you just watch it happen. And you're just like, dude, you're a train wreck. You need to get away. And they don't do it. And you can't figure out why. But they give you every excuse in the world. And eventually one day they come up to you and say, hey, I got away. That's when you need to be a friend. That's when you're like, hey, I'm right here. Hey, you're a great person. Hey, let's forget about that situation. Let's keep moving forward. But you have to get away from the negative in order to meet your goals and reach your goals, okay? If you want to be positive, like I always tell you to be with positive with people, whether you got to fake it or not, you have to get away from the negative. You got to get away from those people that are holding you down or the job that is just, you, they pass you up for promotion just because they're playing favorites, you know what I mean? We're in America. I mean, that, that's stupid anymore, you know? Somebody has their, you know, what you got to do is you got to get into a positive mindset. You've got to get around people that care about you. You got to get around people that are always constantly, you know, if somebody invites you to church, go to church with them, a prayer group, go to a prayer group. If somebody invites you to go somewhere and do something that is outside of your box, go do it. Because the people that are holding you back are the ones you're giving the most excuses for, but you want to know something? They wouldn't give an excuse for you in a heartbeat. They would just let you sit there. So always remember, it's hardest to get away from those that are being negative to you. Sometimes you just got to let them go. Sometimes you just got to say, look, I've got to keep moving on with my life. And remember, your kids are watching you. Other people are watching you. If they see you get away, you know what? Eventually you're going to have a new group of friends because they watched you pull away. You became their strength and you didn't even realize it. You didn't even realize you became a role model. When I tell people every single day on here that, hey, you matter, you're important, you've made a difference, that's because every day you do something, you have somebody watching you and you have somebody that is saying, hmm, is this person a leader or is this person a follower? Every day, look how many people you get around, whether it's at work, whether it's around your own children, whether it's at school, whether it's at play. You always have somebody that is evaluating you on whether or not you're a leader or you're a follower. Or if you're that, that person that just stands around and lets things happen. So my suggestion would be, look, always stay in the positive. Always be polite to people. Always be kind and courteous. And always reach out to those that need help. Pull people up. But if people do not want to get up and they're going to pull you down with them, get away from them. They are toxic. They, you need to get away. People that sit there and say the stupidest things. You know, it could be family. It could be friends. It could be anybody. Sometimes you just, you're not hating them. I said never once said hate them. Never once said talk bad about them. Because eventually when you start pulling yourself up and they see that you have success, they see that you're a reputable human being, eventually they start coming around and asking how you did it or how you doing. And eventually they want to start hanging out with you, not because you're negative, but because you're positive, because you've become a good influence on them. Okay? I was lucky in my life. I've got a family that has always been there for me. I've got a family that every time I fell and got kicked when I was down or I was down there bleeding and everything else, they'd come over and they didn't just get me up. They took a freaking uh, cattle prod and they would shock me up until I got my butt back up in gear and kept moving. Now, one time in my life, I was down pretty hard. But you want to know something? My father never once abandoned me. My sister never abandoned me. You know, I'm that guy that's got to go on over and say, my mom's great, my dad's great. I'm just the idiot because I do have a great family and they've always been there and they've never given up on me. Now, not everybody has that. 
And sometimes, you know what, you're going to find people that never had that, but they have an inner strength that you can follow because they're good in general. And guess what? They were able to get up on their own. Those that get up on their own, they're a little bit harder to deal with because guess what? They don't take crap from nobody. They take crap from nobody. But you want to know something? They're good on the inside because they know the more positive stuff they do, the better they feel about themselves that they can keep moving forward. Everybody thinks that you're successful because you're hard-headed and you can fire people. And you can, No. You know what makes a successful person meeting and reaching your goals? Nowhere does it say you have to be uh, a mean person. Nowhere does it say you have to be a bully. Nowhere does it say you have to give all your money or you have to take everybody else's money. It just says set your goals to where you can reach them. And your kids will be watching. And when you want your kids to read, kind of like when they first started walking, they didn't start walking right away. If you set a goal for yourself, you got to set it. Like when you first learned to read. You read a little bit here and there. You start sounding it out. You start getting to where you get the sentence down. Me personally, I'm told I'm terrible with spelling and punctuation. If my life depended on it, I'm in trouble. But I learned. And I can read. I can write. My sister, she can do calligraphy, which is awesome. I bet you she hasn't done it in a long time, though. But the whole point is, look, you have to start where you can reach your goals. You have to maintain those goals, and then you have to reach them. Once you reach them, you set them a little higher, and then you keep going. I am proud to say today, as of today, November 1st, I'm an executive director within Legal Shield. And it took me about two years to get to. After I was down so hard, I was up so high, and I fell so hard. But as of today... I became an executive director within Legal Shield. Now, my next goal is to maintain that executive director, get up to a gold executive director, and keep going all the way up to a platinum, and maybe someday become a diamond. But look, if I can reach it in a short period of time, I'm not talking about you guys doing anything I do. I'm not talking about that. But if you're reaching your goal to lose weight, if you're reaching your goal to be, you know, to get out and do more. If you're reaching your goal to set a calorie limit on you or to go work out or if you're setting a goal to save money or if you're setting a goal to be able to take a trip or a vacation or if you're setting a goal to be able to learn a new language or whatever it is, look, you have to set the goals within reason. If you set them so high that you'll never catch them, you're never going to catch them or they're going to swing by. I forgot the Greek. Uh, prophet, uh, the Greek proverb, the guy that he flew too close to the sun and all the wax on the feathers melted. He flew too close to the ground and they was able to get shot down. You got to go in the middle. You got to set your goals within reason. Every day you set your goals is a new day. You got to be thankful for what you got. When you get up in the morning, you got to say thanks. You know, you may not have a religion. Me, I believe in God and I believe in Jesus. I really do. I don't push it on people because I'd rather lead by example like my family taught me. Okay, my family always taught me to lead by example. And then people come up and you ask you, hey, what? And then yeah, I'd be love, love to tell you about it. But I'm never going to force anybody. But you got to be grateful. you got to be thankful. Every day in my life, I am grateful and thank you that I get up another day. I love life. I really do. I love my daughter. I love my family. I love my dog. But you want to know something? Not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day you're going to get them like, oh my God, I got up. Trust me, I'm not a morning person. Ask anybody that knows me. I am not a morning person. But you know what? I get up and I'm grateful that I got up again because I have enough friends, enough family, enough Marines, enough Army that are below the ground right now that every day I get up, I get up because they can't. Every day I get up because there's 22 veterans out there that are committing suicide because somebody did not want to help them. Somebody did not want to reach out and say thank you. Somebody did not want to tell them that they were important. Every day I am grateful for getting up. Every day I'm grateful for my daughter. I'm grateful for the life I have. And that's what I want you to know. When you set your goals, you set them to where you can reach them. And then each day you set them a little bit more. Eventually you're going to go back to being like, man... I used to never be able to walk a block. Now if I walk a block, I get mad. I need to run five miles. I need to run ten miles. I need to get in a marathon. I need to go do some push-ups. I need to go do some sit-ups. I need to go eat healthier. I need to get away from McDonald's and all those junk food out there. It's Halloween. I don't know if I can get away from the Halloween candy or not. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Moderation. That's what I got down to. Moderation. Be mindful of who your friends are. Stay away from the negative. Get to the positive. Every day, if your friends are suffering from a terminal illness, and today I ran into a friend of mine and his wife is, and he's barely hanging on, and you want to know something, he is probably one of the greatest guys I know. He's been a friend of mine for years, and his wife, you know, and 
I ran up to him today. It's almost hard for me to hold back my emotion when I see him because I know how bad he's hurting. But I know how much good he's done for a lot of people. He's got such a great family. And then I see others that are, have terminal illnesses and stuff in their family. And the only thing I could tell them today, like I tell everybody else, celebrate the life that they have right now. Celebrate the life that they've lived and celebrate it with them. When they're gone, they want you to live your life because now they are at rest and they want you to be at peace. But if they're not gone, keep celebrating them. And then when they are gone, celebrate their life and how great they were and how magnificent they were and how they made you a better person and live your life for them. And while they're still here, every day tell them they matter. Every day let them know they're important. Hug your kids every day. Hug your family members. Call your aunts. Call your uncles. Call your sisters. Call your brothers. Call your parents. If you have to, go visit the cemetery, do a little dance and say, my mom was awesome, she was great, my grandpa's awesome, my aunts and uncles are great, and I'm living here today just to tell them how great they are. Heck, I'm ready to go to the cemetery tomorrow just tell my grandpa the Cubs are going to win the World Series. I don't know what they're doing right now because I haven't got a chance to watch, but I'm going to go tell my grandpa because he was such a big Cubs fan. And they're going to call my Aunt Sister Florence, who is a huge Cardinals fan, and um, I'm going to tell her. But however, I think my Uncle Ray is going to beat her to it, beat me to it, because uh, <laughs> I love my Uncle Ray. He's the greatest. He is awesome. So is my Sister Florence. But my family is what made me who I am today. I didn't make myself this way. They did. And because I, every day I know that i got to build myself from the inside out, and that's what I want you all to do. Go out there and be good to each other. Go out there and understand and love each other. Look, it's not about who's better at what. It's about who can help you. You know, guess what? Every time you set a goal, it works better in pairs. If you got somebody to pull you through when you can't do it, and then you have to pull them back through. Always remember, give and take, give and take. And know that each one of you guys matter. Now tonight, if you all don't mind, I'm going to say a prayer. Okay, because we remember this. I didn't go into it today. I'm not going to go too much. Remember, our police officers and our firefighters are heroes. Our school teachers, our nurses are all heroes. Okay, you know the parents that have children with special needs and disabilities and everything. What they don't understand are their children are going to grow up to be awesome. You know why? Because they are looking at a difficulty and going through the difficulty into becoming stronger than the kids around them. And that's what the parents always need to know is they are influenced by you. And that's what's making them great. And those out there that think, there is, to me, I don't think of handicap or special needs. I think of, okay, so it's a friend of mine that can't walk, so we're going to push him in a wheelchair. Okay, a friend of mine that can't go as fast as me, so I'll pick him up, put him on my shoulders. Or I will sit there and I'll walk next to him. Because I guarantee a lot of those people, they can get a lot more done than the ones that are most healthiest. Okay? So, tonight, let's, um, if you guys would like to pray with me, go ahead. If you're not a religious person, that's fine too. But tonight, let's pray for those that have special needs. Let's pray for those because not that they get stronger, but we can catch up to them. I want to pray that we can become as strong as those children and those adults out there that have special needs, that we be can, can become as strong as them. Why? Because I've seen these people. They are magnificent. Oh my gosh, I wish I had the determination and the drive that they have that every day they are doing better than each and every one of us. Yet we're so worried about being bullies and negative and here they are. They just keep going and going. It's like, dude, you even understand. Have you ever seen them? They've completed marathons when we don't. I mean, they're just magnificent. They, God basically said, I don't even know why we can say they're disabled because they have more strength than we have. And I wish that I had their drive and their determination. And tonight I'm going to pray for them because I know a lot of kids out there that they, they think that because they have a special need that they no, the only thing special about them is we are not at their level. They are at a level above us and we need to catch up to them. And that is what's awesome about people with muscular dystrophy, people that have Down syndrome, people. They are at a level above us that we need to catch up to. And I want to recognize those people tonight. Because sometimes I think we, we get so busy with everything we forget about them. And I don't ever want to forget about those that have the hearts of gold, that have the determination, 
and the drive of every single day. And then I want to make sure we say a prayer and we think about all the veterans out there, especially the ones that are on the brink and they're on the verge. we got to make sure we let them know that they matter. And then all of the people that put themselves in harm's way, police officers, firefighters, school teachers who teach our children, our leaders every single day. I can't get to where I'm at today without the leaders. Our moms, our dads, our single mothers, our single fathers, okay, our aunts, our uncles. These are leaders. These are people that taught us to be who we are today. Then you got to get up there and, you know, whether it's a community leader or like me, I've got like Rich Ellerman, I've got Alan Roman, I got Ray and Gloria Wilson, you know, I got Brian Carruthers, I got Chris Hughes, I got all these people that have no interest in me other than they're great people and they want to see the best in me and they pull me and they pour me and they kick me and they prod me, but we keep going forward every single day and I'm so grateful for each and every one of them. There's so many of them out there that I would take longer than what I already do to be grateful and thank you for each and every one of them and thank you for who they are. And we need to remember those that have passed on and we need to ask God to say, hey, give us the strength to, you know, they, they had great lives and we're going to celebrate their lives. Let us move forward to celebrate their life and our lives now. It's time for us to celebrate our life. So I'll go ahead and um, start. If you all want to join me, go ahead. I'll say in our Father, Hail Mary, then I'll finish up, okay? So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God in heaven, first of all, let me thank you for everything you have given me today. Thank you for what you have given us. Now please let me ask some more so that I can have more for my friends and family. Please watch over my friends and family that have special needs children. That have special and handicapped kids that are on a level that are way outside of our reach because they are so motivated. Please give us the strength to catch up to them. Please look after all those that have muscular dystrophy, cancer, Down syndrome, stuff like that because they are such great people and they have more drive than we ever will have. Please watch out for all of our veterans today that are thinking about taking their lives tonight. We know that every day 22 of them take their lives. Please stop them from taking their life by letting one of my friends, family, or somebody out there just go up and shake a hand. Let them know they're important. Let them know they matter. Let them know that they're not going to reach out to us, but we sure can reach out to them. Please be with those people that are non-military, that are depressed tonight, that are feeling sad, that are hurting. Please be with those that have terminal illnesses, that we understand that their lives are beautiful, and that we love every moment they're here on this earth. Please, God, be with each and every one of our families that have to deal with our negativities, our positivities, that they just know that they're special and they matter. Please be with all the single parents out there that every day do everything it can to put food on the table for their kids, to do everything they can for their children. Please be with those that are suffering from addictions, that cannot get away from addictions, that they can find the strength to go another day without touching a drink or touching the drug. God, please be with those that need you most tonight. Please be with our leaders who basically give up all their time and their energy and their money to make sure that we're always pushing forward. And let them know that we are grateful for each and every one of them and we're blessed by them. Please be with my daughter's grandmother while she's battling cancer. Please be with my friends that are de dealing with Alzheimer's. Please be with those that have terminal illnesses tonight. God, please watch over all of my Marine Corps brothers. They are my brothers, and I love them, and they are great, every single one of them. Please watch over all military. Please watch over our police officers, firefighters, or school teachers. And please listen to everyone's prayers tonight, that they know how important they are and how special each and every one of them are, and that they matter and they do make a difference. And if they don't think they do, you need to kick them in the butt and tell them, look, you matter, you make a difference, otherwise you would not be here on this earth. We just sometimes need to find our motivation to keep us going. Thank you for letting me be able to be with people and save people's lives and help people in my everyday job and in my everyday life. Thank you for my daughter, Gracie. She is the greatest thing that's probably ever happened to me. And thank you for everyone in my family and every family out there. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, everybody. Thank you all, every one of you guys, for being with me tonight. I went a little over my time a little bit, but I just wanted to know each one of you guys matter. Each one of you is important, and I am grateful every single day for each and every one of you. If you need to get a little motivation, I will get you a little motivation. Tomorrow, I will go back down to the river, and I'll start my motivational chance again. We will just get going. Whatever it's going to take for you to be motivated, do it. Look, life's short. Get up. Get out. Get moving. Get active. Whatever it is. Go eat your Wheaties. I don't care. Look, you guys matter, you're important, you make a difference, and each one of you guys is special. Until next time, I'm, my name is Jeffrey Jansen, and I thank the world of each one of you. Don't ever forget that you matter, okay? Thanks everybody for joining me tonight. Thank you for putting up with me. Thanks everybody.